Gareth Thomas, sports personality, yeah. public figure, ambassador for the LGBT community, victim of a hate crime. I can't express how I feel about the perpetrator because it wouldn't air. All I can say is it's utterly unacceptable to discriminate against someone for their sexuality. Instead of pressing charges, Gareth's offered an alternative solution to his attacker by using restorative justice. I admire him for wanting to come face to face with this miscreant and try and sort things out. But we all know we're struggling to control you for today. Hate crime is just one example. Young offenders line the corridors of adult prisons because the system has no room elsewhere. ASBOs are seen as badges of honour. And there are few consequences for criminal action. My concern is this young lad won't really see the error of his ways because he's got off so lightly. I want to see proper punishments for criminals. We need to adopt a zero-tolerance approach. Prison sentences should have people quaking in their designer trainers. I believe everyone can be re rehabilitated, but if we don't get <clears throat> tough on crime, crime will get tough on us. Phil, are you and your designer trainers at all? <laughs> I've got my boots on today, mate. <laughs> I've got my boots on today. Well, I think this case is really interesting because I think Gareth Thomas should be applauded. Absolutely. At the end of the day, this was his choice uh, to opt uh, for this solution. And when you look at why, when you look at his reasons as to why he decided to go for uh, restorative justice rather than uh, to uh, press charges, it's because the, I'm not in any way condoning or uh, in any way making excuses no, for that 16-year-old's behaviour. But for Gav Thomas, he didn't want that kid to end up with a criminal record that could impact the rest of that child's life. And what he wanted instead was the option for that child to be taught the error of his ways in a way that perhaps could be some form of rehabilitation. And if you look at restorative justice, 85% of victims that took part say that they are satisfied. And actually, if you look at the economics in terms of how much it saves mm. our criminal justice system, it saves on average, they're saying it's possible that 70,000 cases could deliver a, a saving of £185 million. So the fact is, we know that prison doesn't work. We know that actually, if you look at when a young person enters that system, chances are we've lost yeah. them. And if there's a way to save them ahead of time, why wouldn't we? And I I'm applaud him, because I don't know if I could. Prison. Don't get me wrong I'm, about this. I'm not just saying prison No, but, but these, the, the only punishments. thing I would add is, I personally hope that there is more at the end of it for that child. But in so the that rehabilitation of these youngsters, yeah. I think there's a lot to be said for community service. Yeah. But it has to mean something. You've yes. got to get up at, at your scratcher at five o'clock in the morning yes. and be doing something that's actually labouring your bones, or you're not learning. <laughs> yeah. but you're some... just having a laugh. You're going, yeah, sorry, just mate. Just picking up litter. See you later. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Make face. them do something no, that benefits no, other but people. Sometimes a one-on-one -on -one with your victim, I mean, in Gareth yeah, Thomas's well. case, he, he hasn't met his... Um, uh, uh, assailant yet, yeah, but in um, Nigel Owens's case, yeah. so Nigel Owen is a, another rugby player who's also uh, He's a gay. Referee. referee, referee. Sorry, yeah. referee who's also gay, mm -hmm. um, who uh, was a victim of um, homophobic Twitter trolling. Well. And in his case, he opted for this as well. And I think that actually sometimes when you're brought face to face with your victim, you're able to. I, 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 I it's absolutely you. agree. With well, let's see what point. Nigel Owen says in the words of the man himself. I agreed to meet up with him, and you could see that he was sincere and apologetic for what he had happened. And he, and in fact, he was he was a very decent young man. And I think this then was the best way to to deal with that. Now, the the issue or the problem can be is there are some individuals out there. I'm not saying that this is the case in Gareth's case whatsoever, but there are some individuals out there who are just nasty, nasty people. And and sometimes by getting away with something, by just saying sorry, they they feel oh we got away with this now, and there's not going to be any comebacks on me. Uh, Nigel Owens, arguably the best rugby union ref in the world, as someone who goes to Twickenham to see England every time, he would never have given offside against New Zealand, but that's another matter. <laughs> talking, because he was never offside, uh, talking about uh, receiving homophobic abuse on Twitter in 2015, talking to Sky News. And the point there is, and he's lived the life, so I can't possibly gainsay Nigel, but he's right. As long as, and I'm not saying in this case uh, of the Welsh rugby player, that is, 
as long as the person involved doesn't think I've got away with it. Yeah. That would be my one concern. I agree. Oh, all I've got to do is shake hands, say, I'm terribly yeah. sorry, I actually I quite like gay people. Then I go down the pub yeah, and laugh and with my mates. Again, that would yeah. be my concern. That, that, was my, that was my Phil, concern. I've got um, to show on, you Rich. some footage of a woman who met her rapist. I sat down opposite him, just like you and I are doing right now. Reliving the moment she met the man who'd raped her. Joanne Nodding thinks it's because of that face-to-face -face meeting that she can now talk so freely about the attack and her attacker. I wanted him to get something out of it to try and prevent him from doing it to, to anyone else. Because I do think he thought, oh, I raped Joe, but it was just that one isolated incident. I wanted him to really realise how he made me suffer. And I think that's what I, I got through to him, and I think he got an awful lot out of it. I think wow. that... Wow. I find it really powerful, I find it really moving and I think that anything that avoids taking, going to court, ending up with prison sentences, ending up with rancour rather than, for How example, sure oh, wait, 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 can I just finish? I mean, mediation as opposed yeah, but... to going to court when you're getting divorced, mm. a speed awareness course rather than the fine, you know, all these things are proving to be Better effective, ways, yeah. effective, yeah. cost effective. Yeah. No, it's not no, good it? ways of sorting things out. They're all going out. up. They're, 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 they're soaring. They're soaring. Crime rates are soaring. Can I get away? I get restorative justice works to a point, but it needs to be in conjunction with something, in conjunction with something else that actually physically means that they have if to do suits, something to recompense their crime. If it suits the victim crime. and it suits the perpetrator mm. and it saves money, what's the problem? And, and if, if, if figures demonstrate it works, I mean, I, I just wanted to separate between uh, those offences that are. If I want to just demonstrate, you know, those offences that statutorily <laughs> mandate prison, like murder and rape, mm. and I imagine if that man did uh, was convicted of rape, she met him in his prison. I, I don't imagine he's out uh, free yeah, uh, so after raping prison. somebody, right? So I think um, uh, let's contextualise this conversation. Mm. If you murder someone, rape someone, torture someone, you're going to be in jail, and then you implement restorative justice. So that in that case, and in those scenarios, your objections. Yep. They, they go to the side because um, then surely she has the right to go and face him for her own mental health. Absolutely, yeah. because yeah. as a victim, she's getting something Indeed. from that, right. even so, if he gets nothing. So, she's so she's been able to put something to bed in her so own mind. So let's put to one side that. restorative justice when the man or woman is already serving time for their crime, and let's only then speak about, it, like in this case, where yeah. the person isn't didn't go to jail. I think in, in, in relatively minor offences, and I put that in quotation marks, and the only reason I'm saying that is a 16-year-old attacking a rugby, rugby captain isn't like raping a woman. I think in those sorts of instances, it should be not minor crime, up to the victim. No, but that's why I said I'm putting it in, in quotation yep. marks. It should be where it's not a mandatory jail term. It should be up to the victim how they seek to mediate the offence committed against them. And this is my them. point about zero tolerance. Again. As, it yep. should be a mandatory prison you're, sentence you're, for attacking you're, somebody for no reason other than his sexuality. Well, that wait, should but, be a mandatory but, but, but prison that's sentence. That's where I, I would say to you, Phil, that I think that if we look at all the studies done on this, as June was saying, uh, it only demonstrates he throws a 16-year-old in jail. They're going to mm. come out... You know, graduating in a life than of Eaton, crime, re-offend. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to re-offend. You've not listened because Phil said they, they should be then getting up at five o'clock in the morning and going out and doing some real about not what the hard labour. Of justice is, isn't it? But, not, as opposed but to what's the point of having them in a high vis vest, picking yeah. up late, picking yeah. up litter? All right, they honestly, should do something more substantive. But Absolutely. That's, 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 yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The, 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 the punishment should be. I'm not, I'm not saying purely someone has to go to jail every time. Okay. Yeah. But there should be something that alters that person's life to such an extent that they're not comfortable with what they've done. Okay. That is the I point. Get that. But I'm getting. Get that. And restorative justice helps, but I'd also like to see no, him doing something that breaks his back that for a little while. You know I mean? if, if, it, if all you're saying is he needs to do something that actually impacts them, whatever that thing is, that's that still is, restorative justice. It is, actually. If you're not saying they have to go to jail, all you're really debating is what the nature of that restorative, restorative justice, justice is. Restorative like. justice in the case yeah. where, where we've just seen yeah. is him having a chat with him, having a word, and saying, right, okay, well, and then the geezer will go with that. Open to him then also going out and digging trenches. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so we agree on that. I agree with you. I'm so angry out there, <laughs> <laughs> I feel I like a peacemaker. Place. I wonder if I should go to Brussels. <laughs> yeah. He's gone soft in his old. <laughs>